Remember me? I'm the guy that hung by his toes over Hoover Dam trying to get out of a straitjacket. I know I'm not supposed to admit this, but the truth is, I was scared. I didn't expect to be, but once they swung me out over that dam, I couldn't look down. And I've been doing this sort of thing for a long time. Well, now they brought me here to Gatorland in Florida, the world's largest alligator preserve, to try something even more insane. And basically, they're turning me into human gator bait, adding chains and padlocks to the straitjacket, painting me with animal blood, making this a do or die deal. Hanging upside down by your toes on a trapeze is actually a pretty painful experience. This time, they'll hang me over a swamp full of wild alligators. Dean, if this if the dummy represents you, that's the alligators. They will jump. So that's another thing. If you're hanging up there, anything that dangles down, they think they can grab. OK, what we're going to be doing out here is really dangerous. We're working in our breeding marsh. There's 130 alligators out there. They're wild alligators. They're not used to being around people and being handled. Big thing we're concerned with in here, especially with all this equipment and all the people walking around, Anything that hits the ground or hits the water, they're going to perceive it as food. We've got some animals out here that are 11 feet or longer, probably way up in the six, 700 pound class. They get a hold of you, lock their jaws on. There's not going to be a whole lot we can do. We're going to be at that animal's mercy. So Tim, that's a good point. What happens if I actually fall off the trapeze? The first thing that's going to happen with you if you fall is you probably are not even going to hit the water before at least one of them is going to grab you. And then several others are going to grab you, and they're going to start rolling and pulling, and they're, they're going to rip you apart. I mean, that's. So they would get me before I even hit the water. Before you even hit the water, they're going to grab you. So I've been training for about five months, but there's one thing you just can't train for. I don't like alligators. I've never liked alligators. This doesn't look good, guys. It's kind of like Houdini meets Crocodile Dundee. Time. This is a regulation straitjacket created to restrain the murderously insane. It's made out of industrial strength canvas, reinforced seams, and steel buckles. It was designed for one purpose, that there's no way to get out of it. The secret of escaping from a straitjacket is a lot of practice and brute physical strength, usually coupled with violent body jerks. When you're hanging by your toes, however, every muscle movement is treacherous and extremely risky. If Dean falls into that mess of alligators, no one's going in to pull him out. The moment he's over the swamp, he's on his own. Restraints are being laced with pieces of meat because gators have an extremely keen sense of smell and these beasts, who are only fed five times a year, haven't eaten for nine weeks. In other words, they're famished. 
If Dean survives a gator bite, he'll have another problem to contend with. Infection. An alligator's mouth is infested with bacteria, and the most effective antidote is undiluted bleach. Straight from the bottle. And, to make Dean even more appetizing, they are washing his jacket with animal blood. Already the smell is like a dinner bell, and the gators are gathering here from all over the breeding marsh with only one thing on their mind. Dinner's ready. Shooting this event is not only dangerous to Dean Gunnerson, but to our camera crew as well, who depend entirely on Tim Williams and his team of experts, who are all right now on Gator Watch. Let's do it.